Hi everyone, I'm Trisha, an undergrad student, and today I'll talk about cloud concepts, specifically S3, also known as Simple Storage Service from Amazon. Now, let me explain the benefits of cloud. Auto-scaling, on-demand provisioning of resources, pay-as-you-go model, pay only for the amount of time resources used, speed, agility, and a go in global in minutes, and increased reliability and fault tolerance of your system. It's an object storage, stores virtually any unlimited data with a low cost. Data, metadata info saved under a bucket, also known as the S3 bucket. It has high durability, security, high availability with a low cost. It has wide applications and use in the real world. Some use cases are one, to run statistic, some dynamic websites and serves content to users globally. Two, can drive analytics. Three, can create and maintain backups. Four, can enforce security on S3 buckets. Five, can deliver cheap storage needs for companies. The object is called the S3 bucket, which is a folder having files and data inside that folder. The folder size is around zero to five gigabytes and the Terabytes. S3 buckets are region specific. So names must be unique globally. Uh, it has a data durability of around 11 to nines and data from companies are uploaded into the S3 bucket. S3 supports uh, object versioning or object locking and prevents detection of the S3 bucket uh, and supports for encryption transfer acceleration also exist. S3 supports uh, various auditing and compliance requirements. It has two retention models, also Modes. two retention periods as per the block public access or BPA. Many Amazon tools and services use S3 as storage needs. Permission grants allowed from other accounts through the access control list. Each bucket has its own access policy called the bucket policy. And additionally, additionally each user's bucket data access has a um, follows its own policy. It supports lifecycle and replication, high availability, and access point policies. S3 has six commonly stored classes. Uh, pricing depends on its durability, availability, retrieval time, min minimum storage days, and frequency of access patterns. Uh, for high availability with fault tolerance of S3 data, immediate access um, should pay more by putting in the S3 standard. For infrequent access to the S3 standard IA or infrequent access storage, class works better and is cheaper than the S3 standard. For financial companies, data um, archival is needed for at least seven years or once or twice a year for auditing processes, hence the S3 Glacier um, storage is needed, which is the cheapest options. Uh, how does the pricing model work for data requests? Well, data owner pays for a bucket storage cost and it goes per um, gigabyte per month, the data storage fee that's based on the storage class. Requesters pay the rest, um, Data transfers out of S3 retrieval requests, uh, data transfers in, and a number of uploads into the S3 and types of requests. S3 puts um, hosts many public or private websites, uh, first creating the S3 bucket, uh, configuring the bucket with proper access policies, um, enabling website hosting for S3 bucket, making it S3 buckets uh, public for user access, uploading all website contents and accessing the website. S3 also provides strong security measures with unauthorized access, strong encryption for data at rest, AWS detective, AWS security hub. Uh, additionally, uh, AWS also provides many security tools, uh, Amazon guard duty, uh, which uh, locates security vulnerabilities and fixes them. Amazon Macy, which locates sensitive personal information, AWS WAF, which protects website attacks, AWS Shield, which protects Amazon resources, and Amazon Inspector, which um, lists all the security vulnerabilities and provides recommendations. So S3 supports all compliance requirements through AWS tools, um, AWS Artifact stores all your compliance documents, AWS Recognition. Recognition. Um, locates all the P2 information P -I -I. Uh, hidden in the picture and replaces them with another picture instead. It meets all compliances with laws such as HIPAA and the EU data protection drive. Uh, S3 supports analytical and data, data, data warehousing. warehousing.
Amazon Athena allows direct querying in, of its S3 raw data. It supports complex queries using Redshift Spectrum, large scale migration of on-premise applications, strong snapshots for creating another read replica, big data analytics using Amazon EMR, and query performance improvement as well. Uh, thank you, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening.